Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today is the second day of Ramadan and we are going to be taking lessons from the life of Prophet Idris. Today we have with us Faisal Olasha. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Prophet Idris was born during the time of Adam, so they both met each other. In fact, he lived for 120 years of the life of Prophet Adam and he also met Prophet Shif alayhi salatu wasallam. In a hadith by Abu Dhar, it is narrated that Prophet Idris was revealed 30 books to him. It was also related in other traditions that he was the first to initiate writing by pen. So writing before the time of Prophet Idris did not exist until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had taught him. He also taught his people. Prophet Idris was also given many gifts by Allah. One of them was in the sciences. He was very adept in mathematics and astronomy. Prophet Idris is, how would I say it? He's a very wonderful prophet. Prophet Idris was also very adept in the sciences. He knew mathematics and astronomy. He also knew all the languages on the earth. Wow, wow. I wish I knew all the languages on earth. You want to be an astronomer, right? Of course. Oh, um, man. So, we have heard so many things about how Prophet Idris was built with a unique structure, like by Allah, unique beauty. Can you please tell us more about that? Well, Prophet Idris was a well beat man. He had less body on his body and more on his head. He had scanty hair on his chest. And when he was walking, his feet would come close to one another. His one ear is bigger than the other. Wow. Mashallah. Mashallah. So tell us more about Prophet Idris. We really want to know as much as possible. Yeah. Okay, so Prophet Idris, I talked about him meeting Shith, Ali Salatu Asalam. So when he met Sheikh Ali Salatu Asalam, he was a leader, a prophet, a messenger of his people. And he also ruled by Allah's law. So he changed the Sharia, which is Islamic law, the Sharia of Sheikh Ali Salatu Asalam. And one of the things that he brought up was jihad, striving in the cause of Allah. So the first prophet and messenger to start jihad was Prophet Idris Ali Salatu Asalam. Wow, so that means that he was so great that he stopped corruption. I heard that um, he was sent to the people of Cain and then he stopped the corruption among the people. Yes, so the Egypt brought horsemen and people working and fighting against the people of Cain to stop and end that corruption. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to Egypt. Well, I wish we had more leaders like Prophet, like Prophet Idris. I really do. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Idris in many surahs. One of the surahs is Surah to Anbiya with some other prophets. So the ayah says that Wa Ismaila wa Idris wa Dhul Kif Kullum min as-sabirin Wa adakallnahu fi rahmatina Innahum min as-salihin And mention Id Ismail, Idris and Dhul Kif all were of the trust and we put our mercy unto them indeed they are of the righteous allah also talks about prophet Idris by himself in surah tul maram it says that was kufil kitab idris innahu kana siddiqan nabiya wa fa'nahu makanan aliya and mentioned in the book idris he was he was if he was a trustworthy and a prophet and we raised him to a high station. So in this verse, the high station could be seen as the fourth heaven. Because we know that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, went on Mirage to the heavens and on each heaven he met one prophet. He met Prophet Idris in the fourth heaven. We be among the people, people of Jannah. Amen. Amen. So Allah had revealed to Idris all the good deeds of every single person on the earth. So the Idris was grateful. He thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he showed his gratitude to him. But 
prophet Egypt realized that if he wanted more good deeds like any other prophet, he would have to live longer. Allah Akbar, Idris was friends with an angel. The angel was a friend of him and a close companion to Idris. So the angel talked. So the angel had met Idris and Idris had said that Allah has revealed to me all the good deeds and rewards of every person on the surface of this earth without my own deeds on the top. So I was wondering if you could ask the angel of death if you could make me live longer. So the angel said that we will see. So Prophet Idris then jumped on the back of the angel and they flew all the way to heaven. Prophet Idris and the angel met the angel of death. The angel talked to the angel of death and said that, I said, Oh, angel of death, I am here with Idris and he would like for you to make him live longer. But the angel of death asked, And where is Idris? The angel said, On my back. So the angel said, Amazing. And the angel then said, What is amazing? The angel of death had said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had tasked him with taking the soul of Prophet Idris in the fourth heaven. And he was wondering that, how would he do this? Then Allah Akbar, Allah had brought Prophet Idris to him. So Prophet Idris, he came with one intention. The angel of death came with another intention. But Allah happens only what he wills. And Prophet Idris' soul was taken in the fourth heaven. The only prophet and messenger. So have his soul in the first heaven. MashaAllah, this is so amazing. I plan, you plan, everyone plans, and Allah plans. But we all know that Allah's plans is best. Shukadar Allah. Shukadar Allah. May Allah grant us Jannah. Amen. Thank you for watching the second day of Ramadan. And inshallah, we'll be gradually taking all the days. Inshallah. So don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube on Medina MG and don't forget to smash that, that like button. button. Ma